Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone I am from group 7 uh, There are three members of this group First is me, Nur Halima uh, The first speakers And Rifkiya Tulhasana as the second speakers And Lili Matoli'ah Or Musbihatul Matoli'ah As the third speakers um, Today's meeting We are going to talk about presupposition and entailment um, okay we're gonna come to the first uh, topic that is presupposition then what is presupposition presupposition is something the speaker assumes to be the um, sorry something the speaker assumes to be the case prior to making an utterance um, then what is the importance of presupposition linguistically uh, the reason we have presupposition is that they are necessary to shorten what we say. If we had to speak every detail underlying what we are trying to say, we had never anything. We had never say anything. Um, it means from the speaker utterance, people can get other information beside on their interpretation. Uh, okay, let's come to the example. Let's see the example. My friend is waiting outside for me. Uh, there is an obvious supposition that I have a friend. Come, let's come to the second example. Imagine I am in America. I'm imagine. I imagine I'm in America. I'm not in America actually. Okay, so here uh, presupposition have a symbol. The symbol is like this one. You may see on your uh, on your screen, yeah. Okay, that's the explanation about presupposition. Let's come to the types of uh, presupposition. Presupposition there are six types. First is existential presupposition, effective presupposition, lexical presupposition, structural presupposition, non-effective presupposition, and counterfactual presupposition. Okay, we're gonna um, discuss or explain uh, the types of presupposition start from existential. Existential presupposition is when the speaker committed to the existence existence of the entire name. Um, here we can see the example. Jack shoes is new. Jack exists, and he has new. He has the shoes. I mean, also when someone uh, say Justin dog is cute, we can presuppose that Justin exists and he has the dog. Okay, let's come to the following types of presupposition. That is fective presupposition. Uh, fective presupposition is certain verb or construction indicated that something is a fact, such as no, realize, regret, aware, and glad. Um, let's see the example directly. Um, Maria, eh, sorry, we regret tell him. We can presuppose we told that we told him. Um, next, the next example is I wasn't aware that she was married. We can presuppose that she was married. Okay. Mm, let's come to the second, uh, to the third example that is lexical presupposition um, lexical presupposition is like uh, such as something hidden beside the utterance um, but the definition here said the assumption that in using one word the speaker can act as if another meaning will be understood look at the example Jessica is stopped playing piano it means she used to play piano. The things, uh, the things hidden from this um, example is she used to play piano. Okay, the second 
example is beryl is late again it means he was late before uh, in those cases the use of expression playing and again are take to presuppose another unstated concept that's about lexical presupposition um okay let's come to the next uh, to the following uh, types of presupposition but uh, from this uh, for this um, types will be delivered by my friends she is rifkiatul hasana please rifkiatul hasana so well here uh, i will continue the next presentation that's about uh, presupposition okay number four that structural presupposition assumption associated with the use of certain structure wh question exactly we have learned about wh question right so come on just we see to the next example okay number one where did you buy the shoes so we can see from this sentence we use wh question is where so from this sentence we can presuppose you book the shoes okay number two when did he go to the temple so we use wh question is when we can presuppose that he went to the temple. Okay, so the next type is non-factive presupposition. It's one that is true not to be true. For this example, we can use verb like imagine, pretend, and dream. Number one, I dreamed that i was smart i dream that only dream so we can presuppose i wasn't smart number two we imagined that we were in america we imagine okay so we can presuppose that we weren't in america okay and the last example he pretends to be ill he pretend so we can presuppose that he is not ill okay so well here i think this is the last type for us about presupposition so that is counterfactual presupposition it is an assumption that what presuppose is not only untrue but also a contrary to the fact as in conditional structure Okay, well, if you have learned about conditional sentence type 2, you will be easy to learn this type. Come on, just we see to the example. Number 1. If I were rich, I would buy car. If I were rich. So, we can presuppose that I'm not rich. Number 2. If you were my mother... I would kiss you. Hmm, we can presuppose that you are not my mother. Well, everyone, uh, now is presenting about projection problem. So, projection problem always happen in our uh, daily communication. Uh, so, projection problem occurs when a simple sentence become part of more complex sentence. Let's take a look in one example right here. It's so sad. Smith regrets getting Lucy pregnant. We can presuppose that Smith got Lucy pregnant. Another one. Smith regrets getting Lucy pregnant, but he didn't get her pregnant. So, from these uh, simple sentences, we can infer that Smith thought he was the father of Lucy's baby. But in fact, he was not. Another example that we can take a look uh, that has a, a bit projection problem. That is, nobody realized that Kelly was unhappy. B. Imagined that Kelly was unhappy. 
See, I imagined that Kelly was unhappy and nobody realized that she was unhappy. Through these sentences, we can observe that when the, when the speaker utterances A, we can presuppose that she was unhappy and then when she utters B, we can presuppose that she was not unhappy or means she was happy. And then when she utters, when the speaker utters C, we can understand that the speaker means by that utterances without a context because two parts uh, of these sentences are have opposite meaning so it cannot be yeah it's a bit complex that's about projection problem that always happen however it doesn't mean that there are no situation in which the combination of two simple sentence in complex one can be possible so yeah that's about Projection problem between the speaker and hearer happened always. Well, next is about entailment. Entailment is something that logically follows from what is asserted in the utterance. Um, the differences between presupposition and entailment. Presupposition is always... Uh, do in our oral while entailment is in our written. Last, we take a look at one example here. Sammy at some mangoes. So we can uh, entail in this utterance one, someone at three mangoes, or Sammy did something with three mangoes, or Sammy at three of something, or something happened. Okay, next, another example Daddy. here is we go to garden. We go to garden, we can uh, entail that one, someone go to garden, or we do to garden, or we go to something or somewhere, or something happened. Well, everyone, from our presentation, you have learned about presupposition and entailment, so we can take a conclusion that theory of presupposition and entailment helps to dug up the hidden agenda of everyday communication in which the speakers have number of presupposition about the word knowledge of hearers. Thus, the theory of presupposition uh, led us to understand the formulated utterances whose meaning can be inferred by a listener because of um, assumed knowledge. So, presuppositions are not are discussed in semantic, philosophy, logic, and etc. So, you can find in yeah three of those all. But the study of presupposition should not be neglected while studying pragmatic. Uh, that's why it's importantly to us to know about presupposition and entailment and it doesn't uh, let us into miscommunication or misassumption between speaker and listener thank you friends for uh, watching us and see you in the next lesson with another group bye bye